While recording the Every Ability the Cancels Crashdown video, I discovered something quite interesting. While doing Cassante's ultimate, we wanted to demonstrate how it looks when he ults you over a wall while Relish using Crashdown. So I stood next to a wall, and when I pressed Crashdown into the wall, I noticed the Crashdown insta knock up the Cassante. So I asked myself if I could replicate this and how easy it is to do so. And who could have guessed? It is actually super easy to do it. This mechanic works with every single wall Rel can't jump over. But there are some things you have to pay attention to if you want to successfully pull it off. Alright, so first I'm gonna show you how it basically looks. Let's spawn a target dummy right here and this was actually the wall where uh, we discovered it. And it's actually pretty simple, you just have to really tightly hug the wall and then just W into it. As you can see, I instantly knock up the target dummy. There's one important thing that you have to pay attention to, for example this wall right here. Of course I can't jump from here down here, but it looks like Rails W is coded or I don't, I don't really know what's behind it, that if you target the wall right here it will just pick a side of these two and just jump to the side. So it has to be a big wall like this one. Let me try one more time. We hack the wall, we can't jump over here, but it's just gonna, it's just gonna pick a side, so that, that one doesn't work, unfortunately. Uh, some of you are maybe wondering if the game border is working, and as you can see right here, it does work. And this isn't even a super unlikely scenario, I'm not saying it's happening a lot, but uh, when, if you, if you get ganked, and you kind of zone them towards the wall like this, then you can definitely um, expect them to run right at the wall. And of course you can also combine this whole thing with flash, that actually makes it quite easy because if you press flash, you're right at the wall of course. So if you just do this, it hits right away. So one thing that you probably also notice is that it does look like they don't really get CC'd. I mean, you can see that he gets CC'd, but it looks like it's worse than the normal hit. And I actually have to agree. Let's compare it one more time. Like this... Looks like a worse CC than this. Right? Uh, it, it's probably the same, but this, the second one, just looks better. To be honest. Just to prove that it works on pretty much every wall. Let's try this one right here. Bam! Let's try this one. Last time we uh, pretty much figured out that you can't jump over it. So it should work for this trick. And it does. Yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. So I know what you're gonna say now. And yes, I agree. This is super unpractical. But it is at least as interesting as unpractical. And I love talking about little unknown mechanics like this. Because it opens yet another way to play Rel. Yes, this one is probably not going to change anything. But one day we might figure something out that would actually impact the way Rel is played. And I'm definitely gonna keep looking for little gimmicks, little bugs maybe, little mechanics. But that's it for this video. And I'll see you all in the next one.